I still remember when I was a grade two kid. I was fascinated by cartoons, and I would get really excited when I would see those long, big, fancy cars and those round, big money bags with the dollar sign on them. I started believing that having a lot of money was all that made a person successful. One day, I went up to my mother with a pillow cover that I'd stuffed up with clothes, and I told her that this was my money bag and that I was a rich and successful person. I started behaving just like those cartoon characters. My mom laughed and asked me what made me wonder that having a lot of money was all that made a person successful. It was then my mom told me a few things about my grandfather. It was at this point the seeds of me interpreting success differently were planted in my mind. My grandfather passed away even before I was born. I painted a picture of him in my mind based on the stories that I was told. My grandfather was a family-oriented person and he went out of his way to keep his family in their comfort zones. He didn't have a flourishing business, yet he never failed to meet the requirements of all. He didn't leave behind a legacy either. Instead, he left behind a trail of fulfilling memories. Till date, when we talk about my grandfather, we talk about what an accomplished person he was. He was an epitome of success. He led his family to where they are today. After hearing these stories, my perception of success changed. So, respected audience, today, I take the opportunity to draw your attention to the fact that the parameters to measure success should not be restricted. This seven letter word success is a relative term. It has different meanings for different people, different strokes for different folks. Years later, I came across this inspiring quote by Anne Sweeney. I quote, define success on your own terms, achieve it by your own rules, and build a life you're proud to lead. The old school thought has defined the meaning of success, but the outlook needs to be changed. Fame and fortune don't define it, although it is an important benchmark in today's society. We can change this by changing the way we inspire the future generations. This brings to mind another incident which took place a few months ago. As I was down in the apartment, I overheard two little kids having a serious conversation on what they wanted to be when they grew up. One of them said that he wanted to be a famous YouTuber just like Mr. Beast and earn millions of dollars, while the other said that his mom had told him to make lots of money and become a rich and successful businessman. I was astonished to see how these little kids have been fed with thoughts that having a lot of money was all that made a person successful. They then continued to play around. I noticed that one of them was scared to get on the swing. After a few moments, I went up to the kid and convinced him that nothing would go wrong. I then pushed the swing. As the swing went higher, louder went his laughter. Once he was done playing, I told the kid that this was his first true success because he overcame his fears and that he should acknowledge this for the rest of his life. He gave me that look that he would remember what I had just told him. So, respected audience, have you ever noticed that when we have conquered our fears and anxieties, when we have made time for our families and friends, and in return, be loved by them, we have been successful? Have you ever noticed that although these huge business tycoons have made great sums of wealth, if they are unable to strike a proper work-life balance, can we really consider them successful? Before I wind my talk for today, I would like to request each one of you here present to close your eyes for a few seconds and visualize those moments. Those moments where you're happy with your effort. Those moments which you define. These are truly moments of success and they must be acknowledged. You may now 
Open your eyes and give yourself a pat for being successful. I quote Albert Schweinster, success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you are doing, you will be successful. Thank you.